let's take a look at the features of woody plants that we use to identify them in the winter. And a lot of these are the same features that we use to identify them in the summer, both because some of the same features vary from plant to plant, and also because some of the aspects of the plants that we use in the summer are evident in the winter too, particularly leaf arrangement. So in the twig on the left, we see one former leaf attachment at each node, so it's an alternate leaf arrangement, whereas the example on the right, they're paired. It's an opposite leaf arrangement. Where organs were attached, there's often a zone that's different than the rest of the twig, and that's a scar. And there are a number of different scars. Where the base of the leaf was attached is called the leaf scar, and naturally their shape and size is, is useful for identifying the plants. Often within the leaf scar are smaller, typically dot-like scars that are called bundle scars. Bundle scars are where the veins of the leaf attached to the rest of the plant. And that's vascular tissue. They're sometimes called vascular traces or vascular tissue scars. Their size and number also vary. The most prominent feature of twigs, or a prominent feature, is the bud. And what a bud is, is it's an embryonic branch. So later on, when the spring comes, from the bud will arise, typically, another, another branch. There are also buds for flowers, but typically the buds that are for branches will be positioned right above the leaf scar. If you look at a growing plant with a leaf attached, you'll see a bud in the axle of the leaf, that little crotch where it meets the twig. And so when the leaf falls off, the bud is typically positioned right above the leaf scar. So a number of other things that show up on winter twigs are the presence or absence of bristles, uh, spines, thorns. So some twigs have some kind of armature, and um, these don't, the ones that are illustrated here. Another important thing has to do with the buds themselves. The buds um, typically are covered with scales. So on the right, this one on the right, there, there are scales. We can see about a dozen of them. And they're, they're overlapping like shingles. That's typical. Sometimes scales are edge to edge. And sometimes there are no scales. Another thing having to do with buds is whether or not there's a terminal bud, a true terminal bud. So in the twig on the right, this bud that I'm circling again is larger than the lateral buds, and it's pointing straight forward. This is a true terminal bud. This is where the growth stopped, and it's ready to extend for the next year. The twig on the left, well, the bud that's closest to the tip is which I'm circling right now, this one over here, this is actually the last formed lateral bud. And what happens is this plant grows kind of indeterminately, and then when winter comes, it dies back till the last formed terminal, excuse me, the last formed lateral bud. So it's a false terminal bud. And what we have there is typically um, a little sort of featureless scar without any bundle scars in it. That's the branch scar or the tip scar. And that's another sign of a false terminal bud or actually having no terminal bud. A feature that's not shown on these twigs, but I'm going to cheat and draw it in anyway, is what's called a stipule scar. So right at this, at this node here, there, I just drew a little, a little line. And what I drew, because it wasn't present, was recall when the leaf was attached to this uh, part on the twig. Some plants have what are called stipules, little leaf-like appendages at the base of the leaf stalk. And those stipules are often also attached to the twig. And when they fall off, they leave a little scar. And that's called a stipule scar, which I will spell here. And again, it's not shown on this particular twig, but I want to mention it for context. So the um, breathing pores, the plants have to exchange oxygen with the and carbon dioxide, they do so through little holes in the twigs. They're called lenticels. Sometimes they're prominent and large. Sometimes they're kind of inconspicuous. 
The only thing left that needs some interpretation is the pith. So the interior of a twig is a different kind of tissue than the exterior of the twig. It's actually something called parenchyma. It's sort of spongy. It's sort of stored carbohydrates. It's not as differentiated. And pith varies uh, to a certain extent. And in this particular instance, um, the one that's shown here, um, it's sort of, um, it's large, but it doesn't have any partitions. It doesn't have any um, um, cavities in it. It's continuous and homogeneous. There's some variation on, in pith, which I'd um, like to show you now. And where I'd like to draw your, draw your attention to is a resource that we have on the Ohio Plants website. And this is um, a drop-down called Winter Botany, and it's Woody Twig Biology.